In this video, we go to Mexico City for our very first time. We heard so many great things about this city and thought it was about time we experienced it for ourselves. So sit back and relax and see how we spent four days in Mexico City. For our accommodations, we stayed at Volga. It was the property's design that led us to booking this hotel. The details were amazing. The bed, super comfortable, and the rooftop bar and pool were amazing as well. But unfortunately, it wasn't all perfect. Noise is a big issue with this hotel, so if you're looking for a good night's sleep, especially close to the weekend, we suggest booking somewhere else. After getting settled in, we went for lunch at Taqueria El Khalifa and had our first tacos. And then explored the Reforma neighborhood and walked to dinner at Licorea Limantur in the Roma neighborhood. If cocktails are your thing, be sure to visit here as the drinks were really well made and the ones we picked tasted amazing. This drink right here, top three all time, that's for sure. And it was time to go to bed after a long travel day. Today, we explore La Condesa, a vibrant neighborhood in Mexico City, which is filled with amazing architecture, amazing parks, and lots of dogs. I mean, lots of dogs. The parks in Mexico City are so well done, and it was such a joy to walk around and just fully explore them. For lunch, we visited El Pescadito to get some seafood tacos. These are probably our favorite tacos of the trip. They were just so well done and they tasted amazing. One of our must do's was to hit up an Edo Kobayashi restaurant. So tonight, we went to Hyoko in Little Tokyo. Edo Kobayashi is a world renowned chef from Mexico City and we've been wanting to try one of his restaurants for a very long time. So it definitely hit the spot when we visited this restaurant. And after that wonderful meal, we wanted to go get some churros for a little nightcap as we walked back to our hotel to end day two. Today, we booked an Airbnb experience with Luis, who gave us a tour of Historico Centro. Luis taught us so much about Mexico City's rich history and without him, we wouldn't have known all the intricate details and stories that are associated with all these buildings. He took us to all the must-see sites in Centro, and we had such a wonderful time during his three-hour tour. If you decide to visit Historico Centro, we suggest getting a tour so you don't miss all the details and learn about Mexico City's rich and complicated history.
And we ended off day three by having dinner at Lardo for another fantastic meal in Mexico City. Day four has started with more history at the Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City. This was a highly recommended museum and you can see why. It housed an abundance of historical artifacts from Mexico's history and they are so well preserved. The amount of details that some of these pieces had were incredibly fascinating and it just shows you the craftsmanship that was involved back in the day. Speaking of craftsmanship, the museum also housed textile artifacts, and it was great to see the level of detail that was involved in creating traditional garments. After a few hours of exploring the museum, it was time for us to see some contemporary art at Museo Tamayo. We saw some great pieces here and were even treated to a live performance, which gave us some delightful harmonies to listen to. And a short walk from there, literally across the street, was the Botanical Gardens. Mexico City trip, we went to another Edo Kobayashi restaurant, Ale Tachinomi Desu. Which the food, well, honestly, like, it, this was amazing. I mean, look at this truffle ami rice. How could you go wrong? Well, that's it for our trip. We hope you enjoyed our four days in Mexico City, and thank you again for watching. Till next time.